Today's slideshow is to discuss uh, dilutions calculations for calculating the strength of solution. Well, there are several methods uh, available to determine the strength of solutions. Uh, this method, rectangular method, is probably one of the easier ones. What is a rectangular method? Well, you arrange the calculations in a rectangle. On the right hand side, you have your on one corner, you have your higher concentration solution A, your lower concentration solution B. And as you work your way diagonally from left to right uh, with your desired concentration solution being in the middle, you can calculate the parts uh, required of A and the parts required of B. Time for an example. What volume of 2% solution and 6% solution should be mixed to make 100 gallons of 5% solution? So what are we given? Well, solution A we know is equal to 6%. Solution B is equal to 2%. And what are we trying to solve for? Solution C, which is equal to 100 gallons at 5%. Okay, so let's make our solution rectangle. Starting from the top left hand corner, we have solution A, which is equal to 6%. Now, if we work diagonally with solution C, which is 5%, we know that subtracting 6 minus 5 is equal to 1%. Now, if we look at solution B, which is equal to 2%, and we know we're subtracting it from solution C, which is 5%. So we know that 5 minus 2 is equal to 3%. So then what you do is you divide the 3% over the 5% times 100 gallons. That will equal to 60 gallons of the 6% solution. Now you then you take the 1% solution that you calculated, divide it by the 5% solution times 100 gallons, and you get 20 gallons of the 2% solution. So to make 100 gallons of the 5% solution, you will need 60 gallons at 6% solution and 20 gallons at 2% solution for every 100 gallons. Okay. Next example is percent strength by weight. At times, you may have to calculate the percent strength of a solution by weight. When doing, when doing that, you can use this equation to calculate the percent by weight. Percent strength by weight is equal to weight of solute over the weight of solution times 100%. Let's take a look at an example. If 50 pounds of a chemical is added to 700 pounds of water, what percent strength is a solution by weight? What are we given? Well, weight of the chemical is equal to 50 pounds, and weight of the water is 700 pounds. What are we trying to solve for? Percent strength in pounds. So one, let's calculate the weight of the solution. The weight of the solution is equal to the weight of the solute plus the weight of the solvent in pounds. In this case, the weight of the solution is equal to 50 pounds plus 700 pounds for a total weight of 750 pounds. Two, let's calculate the percent concentration using the formula. The percent strength in pounds is equal to the weight of the solute over the weight of the solution times 100, correct? Well, if we put our numbers from above, we know that we have 50 pounds over 750 pounds times 100, which is equal to 6.6% or 7% strength by weight, if you round it up. So let's try to solve the weight of, of the chemicals. So again, we're given the weight of the chemicals by 50 pounds, but this time we're 
given the volume of water, which is 700 gallons. And we're trying to solve the percent strength by weight. First things first, we've got to convert the volume of water to weight. In this case, we know that 700 gallons times 8.34 pounds per gallon is equal to 5,838 pounds. So then we calculate the percent concentration using the formula which is 50 pounds plus 5,838 5, pounds for a total weight of 5,888 5, pounds. So then if we put it into the percent strength formula, we know that for 50 pounds, and we divide that by 5,888 pounds and multiply by 100, it will get a strength of 0.849 or 85% strength. Another way you could solve for concentration is by volume. Uh, this formula is fairly simple. It's C1V1 is equal to C2V2, where C represents the concentration and V represents the volume. This formula can be also used can be used to solve for concentration or it can also be used to solve for the volume. Let's take a look at an example. We have a liquid polymer is being supplied by a water treatment plant at 50% solution. How many gallons of a liquid polymer should be mixed in a barrel with water to produce 50 pounds of 0.5 polymer solution? The answer is 1.7 gallons per 15 gallon for 15% mixed. So what are we given? Well, C1 is equal to 15%. C2 is equal to 0.5%. Our V2 is equal to 50 gallons. And what are we solving for? V1, which is gallons of polymer to be mixed. So we take our formula, C1V1 is equal to C2V2. We put in the numbers where C1 is equal to 15%. C2, which is equal to 0.5%, our V2, which is equal to 50 gallons. And what are we solving for? V1, which is gallons of polymer to be mixed. So we put on our numbers, and from here we now have to rearrange the formula. When we rearrange it, we know that V1, which is our volume 1, is equal to 0.5 times 50 over 15. When you calculate that out, you will know you'll have to mix 1. You will get 1.7 gallons. So for every gallon, you will have to mix in 1.7 gallons of 15% solution to get 50 gallons of 0.5% solution. This can also be used for uses outside of the water treatment field. My favorite example is your standard two-stroke yard equipment. Uh, to mix the fuel, you have to mix a certain amount of gasoline with a certain amount of two-stroke oil. In this case, I'm using 40 to 1. In this situation, to be honest, the metric system is easier used to use, is easier to do this with than the standard method. Here's an example. For 40 to 1 two cycle mix, for every liter of gasoline, you mix 40 milliliters of two cycle oil. Now for the gallon, for the standard method, for every gallon of gasoline, you have to mix 3.2 ounces of two cycle mix. Now you can see how the metric system is slightly more intuitive than the standard system. And that completes this presentation. Thank you.